We are all filmmakers. We tell our stories different ways. It just so happens that in my world, I tell it both as a colorist and I tell it as a musician and a composer. A colorist knows he or she did a great job when nobody notices that there was a color job done on a film. The idea is that transparency, that ability to communicate the director and the director of photography's concept and still eradicate any potential problems that would tell an audience member, oh, well, you know, that wasn't necessarily fixed or that wasn't touched. So the goal for a colorist is to not be noticed, but the flip side of that is remove any noticeable problems. So we're always walking that fine line. Our intention as filmmakers is to always get to the projected image. There's a romance to projection. It's something that a panel can't necessarily emulate. Panels are sharp, some of the color is pretty good, but there's something unique to sitting in front of a projected image. One great benefit of projection is size. Part of the romance of the image is the size and scope of what you're actually watching. If you're limited in size by your panel to a 50 or a 60 inch panel, it doesn't mean it's an unattractive image. But you don't get as immersed in the filmmaking as when you're looking at a 120 inch projection of something that takes you back to being in a movie theater. I've had the opportunity to use the Epson Pro Cinema 4050 4K Pro UHD projector, and I love it. The projector is a mix of tech and a sense of realism that represents an incredibly wide array of colors. The reproduction of shadows and highlights is something I've never seen in a home projection system before. As a color professional, we know that red, green, blue is accurately represented in a three-chip environment. Any theater is going to be a three-chip projector. It's great that Epson designed their projection technology to be three-chip. That is really the only way to faithfully reproduce the kinds of colors when finalizing and mastering a film. There are other projection technologies out there that decently represent color, but with a massive hit on brightness. With a three-chip system, you don't have that problem. Technology is constantly evolving. We started in Rec. 709. Today, we can push a lot more color, a lot more information into the platforms in which we view films and television. DCI P3 is the largest bucket we have, meaning we can fill it with the most amount of color. Because we're working in a P3 space, our goal as colorists is to ensure that the end user, our audience, is seeing it the way we did. Most importantly, seeing it the way the director of photography, the way the director intended it to be seen. One of the great things about Epson technology is that it's DCI P3. It's reproducing the widest color gamut possible, which means that it's being watched in the home the way I, as a colorist, intended it to be. The last thing you want to see when you're watching a film is the limitations of the projector. In a one-chip DLP environment, things like a rainbow effect can occur. These are limitations of the projector. And sometimes simple things like blinking your eyes or moving your head the wrong way can introduce artifacting which isn't there inherently in the material you're watching. I've looked at many films on other projectors at home. Most of my blacks were muddy, shadowy, noisy, it never really looked like that image that I saw and was used to in a theater. With Epson technology, I'm now actually seeing dynamic range in a projector and true blacks that I hadn't seen before. I'm accustomed to a certain quality level, something that I look to preserve through the entire chain of playback. This is the first time I can say I've seen a home projected image look as good as it can possibly look. When I'm at home watching a film, I just want to enjoy the film. It's really about technical transparency, the inability to see what's happening technically. With Epson technology, the projector just gets out of the way. You're just left to experience and enjoy the movie as it was intended.